you just closed on the purchase of your new house. The very first night in your new home can be a little inspiring. It can be a little bit overwhelming. Let's talk about some of the things you're likely to experience on your very first night in your new home. You're going to go into it with a lot of enthusiasm and you're going to start to put things away, but I've got a tip for you. Stop and don't do anything else until you build your bed first. Get the sheets on it, get the pillows on it, and then do anything else that you want to do because you're going to be around 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. You're going to be exhausted. The last thing you want to do is to stop and build a bed, right? Your very first night in your house is also going to have a lot of other things happening. You're going to find out where the light switches are. You're going to realize where, which light switches do these work? You're going to find out where's the light coming in? Is it coming in from a street light? Is it, is it the neighbor's house? What's going on? So these things are all going to be a little bit different for you. So you want to make sure that you go into this with an open mind and plan that there's going to be noises that happen in the house, whether it's creaky floor or if it's a, let's say it's a dog barking outside or let's say that there's some traffic noise you didn't anticipate. It could be the neighbor plays guitar. You, know, you don't know what could happen. Go into it with an open mind. So it's really common that your first night in your house, you're going to be wondering, how do I lock up these doors before I go to bed? The other thing that's very, very common on your very first night is your head is going to be racing about, oh man, I got to get this done. I, for I forgot about this project. I really need to make sure that this is done. If you bought a used home, you're going to be saying, I really need to fix these things. I need to arrange that. If it's a new home, you're going to be focused on things like, oh man, I have to figure out how to get X, Y, and Z installed, whether it's the yard or if it's uh, window treatments or light fixtures or whatever it is. So don't be overwhelmed by those things that you know have to get done. They don't all have to happen on your very first night in the house. Choosing the first night that you plan to be in the house is really important. Here's what I recommend. Choose a night to live in the house for the first time when you don't have to do anything the next day. You want to be able to wake up the next day and do it at a leisurely pace. You don't want to have to figure out on the run, how am I going to get breakfast? How, what time do I have to leave to get the kids to the bus? What time do I have to leave to get to the office? Give yourself the luxury of a little bit of time, unpack, get settled in, try to do it on, on a weekend or at least take a day off from work so that you don't have to scramble the next morning. Congratulations on the purchase of your new house. We're really happy for you. If you have any questions for us, give us a ring, shoot us a text, send us an email. We're here to answer whatever questions you have about getting settled into your new home.